The Nashville Bass Pack by Steve Cook. Available now for Line 6's Helix and HX Stomp. I'm here to give you some insight on the presets of this pack and what makes them what they are and why. So first of all, who is Steve Cook and why would I want to buy presets from him? Well, Steve is a working pro-level Nashville-based bass player for many years, like many of us in multiple genres. He's played for artists like Phil Vassar, Luke Bryan, and Sister Hazel, just to name a few. Well, being from Nashville where the pool of pro musicians is deep and the level of talent is so high, not to mention that many folks of this caliber are accessible like never before via social media and the internet, what else makes Steve so special? Well, being a contributor to publications like Premier Guitar and being one of their main reviewers of bass equipment for quite some time now gives Steve the advantage of using and testing out just about anything related to bass gear regularly. So he knows a thing or two about tones and gear. So now you know a little bit about the brains behind this preset pack. So let's take a look at the pack and I'll share with you a little bit of my experience with it so far. The presets are arranged in five groups. There is Blackbird, which is recording studio tones named after the famed Blackbird Studios here in Nashville. And it contains Clean, Agro, Agro 2, and Plus Cab. Eastside, which is named after the East Nashville neighborhood, has those indie rock and vintage tones in mind, with presets Eastside, Classy, and Hip and Trashy. The Hot Chicken group has a variety of overdrives to varying degrees. These presets are Mild, Medium, Hot, and Triple X. The Green Hills group is a bit more polite with tones from club jazz and other society type event gigs. The presets are Jazz, Club, and Burrow. Broadway Live, named after the downtown Nashville street with the highest concentration of live music clubs, is the Swiss Army Knife preset of this pack. Within this preset it contains an auto filter, a studio comp, overdrive, chorus, an Ampeg amp, and parametric EQ all on the ready.
Now here's my first couple of on-the-job experiences with this pack. I took my HX Stomp, loaded up with the Nashville Bass Pack to a recording session. We were tracking for artist Ryan Waters. His latest single is Creek Don't Rise, which is a rock and country song. Going through this pack at the studio, you would think one of the Blackbird presets would be appropriate for the situation, since it was designed with the recording studio in mind. But I wound up settling on the Hot Chicken Hot preset, which had the right amount of aggression I was looking for for this track. The producer was also pleased with the result. Check out the finished track here. So now I wanted to put the Nashville bass pack through its paces in a live setting. For this, I took my HX Stomp, loaded up with the Nashville bass pack to SIR Rehearsal Studios here in Nashville. I would be working with singer-songwriter Keith Arnold. Keith is a country artist with classic and melodic rock tendencies. My signal flow for this was out from my bass to the HX Stomp, right out to the amp. After going through some of the presets in the setting, I wound up settling on the Green Hills Club preset, which worked out really well for this kind of music. And there you have it, the Nashville Bass Pack by Steve Cook. Available now for the Line 6 Helix and HX Stomp. I'm Luis Espayat, and thank you for watching, and hope to see you again soon.